the first recycling uh, product we are going to use a plastic bag uh, we're gonna melt it so I cut some things off so I can spread it all open because there is a gap in here and I cut off the hand grip then I'm go going to fold this I think in three flatten it put it between two craft sheets and then we're gonna melt it with your iron so be sure your craft sheet is pretty clear of clean and then we're gonna melt it down and the back is gonna wrinkle if it's gonna do what I want it to do that's always a big surprise we shall see After that, I'm gonna cut it, and you can see what I made from it. Well, melt it down, uh, melt it for a few minutes, and you will see it when it goes wrinkling. Yeah. I go further now because I stopped a minute because it was too cold underneath. So I put a little kitchen towel underneath, so it's more warm. Warm, yeah. Do I say that right? Then it's get warmer, and then it will react better. So if you do it, put something underneath, so it keep the warmth. And I think when I leave my of take my uh, iron off it will go wrinkle now so I take it off and then you see it stick on one of the craft sheets and you can see the wrinkles in it but it has to cool down a little bit further because it's too hot to touch here well I you see uh, the wrinkles and the rest what was st still stick on my uh, craft sheet and later on we gonna melt it a little bit further but then on uh, my project so see you back so I made uh, this wrinkled plastic and what do I want to do with it uh, First, I want to tell you about uh, what I did. I wrinkled it, cooled it down, and cut it in a piece. I want to make a little bra or something for this cute, too big for my desk. Uh, yeah, Taylor's mannequin. Mannequin, how you pronounce it, I don't know. But um, I want to show you what I do with the plastic next because I have to melt it a little bit further to make it fit on her tits <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap it down and I'm going to use the heat gun so watch it and I don't tell anything because I am gonna blow with my heat gun and it makes a lot of noise so watch the video
first I have to uh, put gesso on the tailor's dummy but I don't want to make it all white I add a little uh, black leather jacket sorbet with it because it gives a bit of a uh, dirty look I think a little maybe later a little more but I just do and see how it turns out because maybe it becomes something else also maybe at the end I paint it all white I don't know yet uh, don't do it all because I have a little uh, uh, skirt for her so I don't have to do it all and when I add a little black here and there it's gonna get a shabby look mannequin has to dry now so I start with the next part I saved my coffee pad from the senseio and it smells like coffee here now I'm going, going to paint all the pads with a little white oh my vest is going to get white I think um, white with the little black in it I just go uh, further with the same uh, mix and oh it smells later on it's gonna be a dress so I'm gonna paint now and see where it ends Recycling, that's what we do this time. And this is an old dress of mine. And I tear a part off because I don't wear it anymore. So this is gonna be the little dress of my uh, tailor's mannequin. And I painted uh, with this stamp. So I'm gonna cut all the shapes. And then we going to make a dress from for her or skirt or how you call it so back in a minute so I like it I like the way it is now so next I have also a little fabric here I don't know synthetic silk I think uh, because she has cut something on above so I'm gonna take her and show you what I want to do I wrap it around then I turn this like this I hope you can see it and then I put it around her shoulder but 
now it's not okay. It's not good. Wait a moment. Like this. Hops, hops, hops. She's not completely dry yet. But I don't mind. Then put it over her shoulder. I don't know if you can see that. You see? Around here. Where the arm should be. Then around the other... Oops. My desk is too small. The other shoulder. And make a good knot here. Hoppakee. So now she's neat. And because this is synthetic, it will, um, how you call it? Um, it will form through her body when I gonna heat it. Well, see what I do the next moment uh, because it's gonna be noisy. I'm gonna use this one and this one is noisy. So watch and see what I do next. This bra needs a little color uh, because why do we have the wrinkles? It has to wrinkle. Uh, it has to get color into the wrinkles. So my fingers as always. I put on the black leather jacket and Sweep it into the crackled plastic. And you know, it's my plastic bag. From a plastic bag to a bra. I think that is quite a job that I did. Wah, wah. And then sweep it off with a little paper towel. And then you will see. That the black will stay into the wrinkles. Oh. Ah. And it's already a better look, I think. Oops. But it's a lady, so I want some pink. So I took uh, cotton candy and from the sorbet a uh, ruby pink and add some pink. I think. So this is more like I want it. I think this is going to be awesome. You don't have to think it's awesome, but I think it's awesome. Let's get that old shabby look. Hmm? 
now I have to watch out. I can't dry it with the heat gun because then my bra is ruined. So I have to let it dry. And I think I have to add some pearls when it's dry. Some pearls. I think that would be nice. So we're going to wait till it's dry. And I think we start with the, um, the skirt. Do you call it a skirt? Dress? I don't know. And the coffee pads. So, going further with uh, the mannequin. Um, I don't know if I showed you. Uh, okay. But I put a pin in here. So it will uh, be down like this. And when I heat it, that it uh, burnt it like this way. I don't know if it's good English, but I hope you understand why I did it. Um, now, we go further with the skirt. I uh, have my uh, hot glue here. And I think it's going to be the hot glue. To let it be in place where I want it to be. Don't burn your fingers. I do many times. And... Stick it on a few places with the heat, uh, with the heat, uh, the hot glue. So like this. It's a little small, so I have to uh, put it together here. But I don't mind. Always doing what I want to do. And then I have the skirt ready for the coffee pads because the coffee pads has to come here. Let's stick it together. Yeah. Okay, ready for some coffee pad action. Um, coffee pads are all dry. I want them to fit here here like this so uh watch me doing it uh, i set it on uh, i don't talk and uh, put, put the tape on quick so you don't have to wait so long Okay, in the meantime, well, the skirt is finished. Yeah, I've had forgotten to put on the camera again. So, I hope you can see it. I stick it all with the heat gun. Uh, of the heat gun, the, the hot glue. And, yeah, put it all on the dress, all over, around. Oops. Some glue is sticking here, but and now I have to figure out uh, figure out what's next. So, well, I found here some leftovers from my friend Soraya from her laser machine, laser printer. So I think I'm filling the dress with um, with circles, wooden circles, circles, and put them around here to make a belt or something. Um, well, I think I'm give them some color. Um, there are different sizes. I want the same size. And I think they they're going to be pink. Pink, sorry, pink. What is pink? 
well, I think this uh, should be enough. And put, I think the pink velvet will do. Always my fingers, sorry. And make them pink. gonna be nothing uh, how do I do that yeah. I mess it up always so I will do it with all the wooden circles I think this is what I like and make them all with black sides um. mm. Now uh, I want to add some spray ink, some radar and some patience. Um, I'm going to spray it on top and then let it drip down. Uh, you have to believe me because I have to hold it like this and then you can't see it very well I think. But we're going to try. Do a few, a few sprays. And it is black. And pink black and pink black and pink I hope you can see and let it drip down I hope you can see it's gonna be nice and so I'm going to do the whole dress well I hope you can see it the skirt is here and you can see the the ink dripping down but I don't think it's messy enough so I'm going to let some gesso drip down uh, I'm gonna mix it with water to give it a more shabby look so um, First I have to make the mix. I think half water, half gesso or maybe 70, 30 and then 70 water. I have to mix it. One moment. circles I did with uh, the leather black uh, uh, jacket and I whitewashed them a little so it's not so dark and bright pink oops so I'm gonna stick them on uh, the tailor's mannequin which look now like this. I add some pearls. I hope you can see that. At the side of the bra. And I add another pin because this one has also a little pearl that fits with the bra. But I want to do some sp yeah, some spatters, spatters. Uh, on the mannequin, so I hope it will work. I don't know if you can see it, a little spray inked here with patience and the radar 
to give it a little more colored look and spray it with the uh, water bottle water above so it spreads you can see it here maybe a little pink also all the spatters spatters are there um, now in a minute I'm gonna add those uh, buttons and I'm gonna add this one so I heat up my glue gun and uh, of my hot glue how you call it and then we gonna finish it Again. So this is the final result of my tailor's dummy or tailor's mannequin. I don't know how you call it, but I love it. It's just what I had in mind and it is how I like it now. I will go closer by to show you the details. On the skirt you see all the spatter spatters and all the spots of the gesso and above that you see oops you see the wooden uh, circles and above that the corset oh i like it i uh, put on little pearls And uh, well, I like it the way it uh, it uh, turned out. You see all the wrinkles in the to the plastic bag, and that makes it old and crunchy. I just love it. The coffee pads. Well, I hope you all liked it. I hope you again are inspired let me know what you think about it and let me know if you use some of the techniques i would like that so i will say to the next till the next video i have something in mind already for the next time so